Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. 2022 is officially here and this is my very first video in January 2022. Yay! Last year this time I attempted to create a video just like this for 2021 but the video never made it to this channel because I was so obsessed with writing lists rather than creating a system that really works for me. It takes certain actions to get certain results and I wasn't aware of that at that time. I'm still learning it but at that time I was just into ticking everything off the list to feel good and in the end I wasn't even feeling good. This year I want to be mindful about what I'm writing and what I want to achieve. First of all I tried to be grateful for whatever I created in 2021. Even if it was small I really tried hard and it was a hard time for all of us so I'm really grateful for whatever I did. For this year what I want to achieve is mainly about taking care of myself more than ever, putting myself first before anyone else and by anyone I swear I mean anyone. It's really hard to say no to people for me and I think it's been very challenging to let go of certain traits and this is one of them. I can definitely see the effects of this trait on my life. Like I should be the most important person of my life. So the main thing for this year is to put myself first and do whatever I feel good doing. Other than that, taking care of my body, my skin, my soul, is a priority. As I just said, it takes certain actions to get certain results. If I want to make more money, just making more money is not a goal. It should be clear, it should be planable and actionable. So I'm not talking about all these things in this video. I'm just sharing a list of whatever I want to achieve in 2022. Let me know if you want to see how I break these goals into simple to-do lists that are achievable and really easy to follow up with. I achieved a lot last year. In comparison to what happened to the world and all the quarantine, all the sadness that we were experiencing, I know it had ups and downs. Beside that, I think I could manage my emotions in a very good way and I'm grateful for that. I had many new experiences work-wise and what I want for this year is to shift into a new way of work and creating a new business. I made many mistakes in the past and failed in many projects. I don't even want to mention them here today but I learned a lot from them and now I want to put everything I learned from all those mistakes into work and create a new business which obviously I will break into simple tasks and maybe getting help from other people to achieve more with that because one of the mistakes that I've always made was doing everything on my own and that's just a huge amount of stress and I don't want that. So creating a new business for me in the first place needs rebranding and polishing what I already have as my brand which leads me into the second goal and that is redesigning my website. This is a lot to do and since I still do everything on my own it takes a lot of time and I want to be very patient with it because I just don't want to throw everything on there. I would be focusing on more products and it will be like filled with digital products, digital assets that I think would help people to do what they like. Basically it's about photography and videography and maybe some related items to productivity or learning languages but I'm going to put everything in one place which I haven't been thinking about it before like I've been thinking about it but there was no actionable plan for it so this is what I want to do this year designing and selling digital products I have sold products on different platforms like Etsy but I don't want to do that anymore I just want to have everything on my own website and being under my control. The next goal, which kind of wraps up everything I just talked about, is creating three stable income streams. I've always loved to write a book and publish, like self-publishing it. I'm not sure if I can do it in 2022 because I already have a lot to do. I just have it on my 
list to see if I can achieve it or not. But as my three main income streams, I would count on photography, videography and editing and selling or designing digital products and selling on my own website. The main goal here is not to work 24 seven and actually relying on more passive income. I just want to have more time for myself and my beloved ones, you know, experiencing some more stuff, traveling around and not just working, just sitting there working on my laptop all day, every day. The next one is YouTube and I think it deserves to have its own section but it actually falls under career section because YouTube would be my part-time job. I started my channel back in 2013 and I'm still working on it because I have too much work in real life and do not have much time to create content which is very sad but this year i'm planning to change it and upload weekly i don't want to be a perfectionist and say that i want to create awesome videos i will try my best to put the best content that i can share with you but i think sharing the content itself is more important than being aesthetic and all and i put a lot of time editing my videos to make them look good so basically the main goal here is to create more both shorts and long videos for my YouTube channel and uploading weekly. Hobbies. This is very challenging for me because I used to do photography and videography as a hobby but now because I'm making money off of it, I really do care about the outcome and it's been stressful and I don't want it to be like that. Like I used to say do what you love and make it your work. Like my job is what I love but now there is no hobby and I don't enjoy every second of doing it because I'm responsible for what I'm creating and it's not a hobby anymore. I want to do something that I have no stress over ruining it or you know not being happy with the outcome is not a thing like baking more cookies or maybe something like that which would definitely take some time for me to realize what I want to do as a hobby because I already do some random things but it's not like a must in my life I put more time for work than having fun and entertaining myself which is embarrassing I will think about it and come up with something to mark as my hobby but beside that there is one thing that I've always loved to do and I want to pursue this year. Singing. Yes. I used to sing a lot. I still do but there's this thing that I'm embarrassed of singing in public or when people are around because I think I'm not good enough and I just want to beat that. I think I would love to see myself uploading a video of me covering a song to my YouTube channel and I'm putting this here as a goal. I don't know if I'm confident enough to do that someday but let's see if I ever upload that video or not. I'm putting it here so I will be devoted to this hopefully. Another little tiny goal that I'm going to put in here is to watch two movies per week and it's not just watching the movie, I'm gonna go and read about all the reviews out there, critics and like everything that is out there about the script, the cast, everything that I might never notice without reading it online. So I want to go deep into the movies that I watch and uh, actually teaching myself about little details of every movie that I watch. So I want to watch two movies per week but intentionally and mindfully. Does it make sense? I just forgot one more thing and it's creating new playlists for 2022. My Spotify is just a mess. I just keep adding new music to every playlist that I have and since I have different playlists for different languages that I'm learning, it's like a Turkish playlist, a Russian playlist, I think I recently created an Italian playlist and most of the music that I listen to is in English so I just need to create everything based on languages, maybe different playlists based Based on genre or mood or activities I don't know it's been a long time that I intend to do this but I never had the time to so hopefully this year I will do that as well self-improvement now we get to the nicest part 
think. As a first goal, I want to promise myself to read one book per month. I used to be a very fast reader back in high school, but I'm not anymore. And I think I'm much better with audiobooks rather than reading the books itself nowadays. Like, it's something very recent. I used to read books much better but I think because I see how long a book is in an audiobook like it's just six hours six hours is nothing you can just finish a book in two or three days but you end up not even reading one book in a whole month so maybe that's because I'm seeing how much it could take for me to finish this book actually and I can see the progress in front of my eyes so maybe that's it but anyways no matter if I'm listening to audiobooks or reading the book itself I just want to read one book per month and I already created a list of that if you want to check it you can check it out on my website and yeah that's it there are two more little goals here that I want to add in this section. And the first one is listening to more podcasts related to literature, language, history, and art, which are the main things that I'm focused on for this year. And I cannot really say a number for this. The more, the better, of course. I don't want to limit myself to numbers. Just doing it more regularly is enough for me. So I'm just writing it here to know that I want to listen listen to more podcasts. The next one is to watch masterclass courses related to film and writing. I really wanted to do this for a long time now, but I never sit down and finish all the courses. Like there are, I think, four or five courses that I really want to watch, but I never had the time. But for this year, I want to break things down and start watching them gradually. Travel one of my favorite sections on this list. I want to visit two new cities in my own country. I'm thinking about revisiting Kashan and maybe cities close to Kashan, but I'm not sure yet. Hopefully I will visit two new cities in Iran and since everything is very uncertain, I don't know, but hopefully visiting one new country, it's on my list. I don't know yet. I'm not going to talk about it. We will see. And languages. Oof. 2021, something that I was really putting time for was learning languages. I want to keep practicing with Duolingo. I have been practicing for 45 days now, I think. I want to keep practicing languages no matter what language, no matter how long. I just want to, you know, keep myself addicted to practice every single day. This is the first thing on my list. And the languages that I'm learning right now is Russian, Turkish, French, German, and perhaps Italian or Spanish or maybe both, I'm not sure yet. But for now, I'm just practicing Russian with Duolingo to be able to read the sentences because the alphabet is so new to me. Other than that, I will watch one Russian show that I really like. For the Turkish language, I will go for the books that I've never finished reading. I'm still reading since 2021 because there are lots of vocabulary that are new to me it takes a lot of time to finish them also watching shows in turkish for german and french also watching a lot of shows and youtube videos i don't have much books in french or german so maybe buying some more this year and hopefully reading them not just hoarding them on my shelf Basically, I, I can say putting more input like books, shows, YouTube videos and everything related to improve all the languages that I'm practicing at the moment, but not feeling overwhelmed to practice all of them at once. The older you get, the more aware you will become of your body and your soul and it really needs to be taken care of, you know. You're building something through years and you don't want a broken, as people call it, temple, vehicle or whatever you may call it. This is something that would take me through all the wishes and desires that I'm putting in this list and if my body is not working properly, if I don't feel like my brain and my soul do not feel nourished, I would go nowhere. It doesn't matter how much money I have or how hard I'm working. If I'm not feeling well, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't feel good at all. You know what I'm talking about? So this year, I want to 
eat more veggies and fruits i know it's not like a goal because everyone is like i want to go vegan i want to go whole food plant-based i want to eat raw i'm not like that i totally respect everyone doing that but for me it doesn't work i just don't want to force myself i should keep the balance of my own body which i think first of all needs to get hydrated a lot more i do not i i drink water but i think it's not enough and i should really work on that habit i drink a lot of tea and herbal tea specifically but i need to drink more water so i should work on this for real there are two things that i want to put in my monthly to-do list i'm planning to get my nails done every month and also getting a facial treatment to have a better skin these two little tasks would really make me glow up like mentally and physically so this is what i want to stick to I want to have more sessions with my therapist also and uh, it doesn't mean that I need to feel extra depressed or feeling so down. I just want to maintain this routine of talking to specialists about certain problems and I don't want to give the problem much time to ruin something over a longer time when I can easily avoid destroying something by recognizing it before something bad happens. And in general, I can say I want to balance my feminine energy this year and take care of myself. And the last section is what I would call random. The first thing is that I want to create another Skillshare course. I already have one on their platform. If you haven't checked it out, the link is down in the description box. If you're interested in flat lay photography, it's a very basic course for everyone out there who is interested in photography in general. I'm also planning to have something about photography and maybe videography, but only one course would do the job. Like I'm planning for one, if I can make two, three, four, that would be awesome. But for now, one is enough and one is my goal. Another thing is to make a vision board, which I will try to make a video on. I've been using vision boards for years and years and miraculously, I've achieved a lot through creating vision boards. So for me, they really work and I want to create a new one. I think I will be finished with it before January ends. I'm in no rush. I just want to clear my head and have this vision of the life that I'm enjoying so I can find related photos and words and create something totally new with a new mindset for 2022. Another thing is to take as many courses as I can. The main platforms that I want to go for is future learn coursera skillshare and maybe some more it doesn't really matter i'm just thinking about taking more courses related to the main things that i'm doing like videography photography editing languages you know machine learning everything from technology to art would make me feel good and yes that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and if you're still staying with me up to the end of this video, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I hope I could inspire you to create your own list if you haven't already. If you did, just let me know if you have any common goals right for me down in the comments so I would know. I really didn't want to set higher standards or being obsessed with goals again. It's just a video to remind myself where I'm heading to and what I want to achieve and how I want to feel. And I hope I could inspire you in some way to do the same thing for yourself or if you're already working towards your goals you would know that other people are on the same path and everyone is kind of enjoying and struggling at the same time so if you enjoyed watching this video hit that thumb and you can also subscribe so it will help my channel grow and until the next time take care bye